I'm back again. I'm doing a reaction of GOAT format, Time Wizard replays Horus, Turbo, and Reasoning. Which I think they're pretty much the same thing, but, you know, whatever. Okay, you got your Chaos in the grave. Listening to Back Backlash, France, um, yeah. WWE on uh, YouTube. Smart, uh, technical work rate yeah, we still got about 15 minutes until they started, but my, my bro came over early with some donuts, yes, so we're like, yeah, fuck it. Here we are. Okay. Tama Tonga has to be one Going of the most down. boring fuckers that I think they've ever signed. No, for sure. Well, there's nothing to him other than just smoking guy. Well, that's the thing. Just flips and kicks. He's, he's not mm -hmm. even technically a part of the Samoan bloodline. He's Haku's son. Oh, really? From what from what I understand, the blood bloodline family is all like fat twos, right? It's all like the fat two side of the family. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But for whatever reason, they got Haku in there. Um, it's just basically anybody who loosely identifies as Samoan at this point. <laughs> loosely identifies. <laughs> if you're two percent Samoan, you qualify for <laughs> your bloodline. Oh, good enough for me. Your boy Tamataga. He doesn't even sound Samoan. Come on. At least try to add a little boost in your voice. Is there a reason why he didn't take out Genzo when he had the chance? Oh, they, they actually oh, he had to be color. strict, probably. I mean, it looked like ketchup was just blasted on his face. It could have been barbecue sauce, you never know, but still. <laughs> I was just trying to enjoy some hot wings backstage, and they dragged me out here and beat the fuck out of me. They couldn't at least get Ed Ferrara to come in as Oklahoma. With the Bell's palsy face. Oh, God. Michael Cole is like, hashtag Jim Ross sucks. Oh, my. Hashtag this is offensive. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't believe that MLW be actually has action figures. What the fuck is that shit? How the fuck? Like, did some fat nerd make it in his basement? Or are those like homemade action figures? <laughs> it's gotta be. Like, the, like, MLW action figures. Oh, my God. <laughs> what market is there for that? Even, even smarts don't Much care about MLW. Game. Who the fuck is buying these darted dog shit fucking made of action figures? Oh, so Neil, oh no, good. Neil was wondering what if question. What if Vader never had the Shawn Michaels incident? What would his career in no, WWE no, look like? If incident never happened. Uh, he would. He would have still been pushed as a mid carder and booted at oh, in WWE because no. he just reworked snug. That's what he At that time, they agree. weren't used to working snug. Nowadays. Vader would be a world champion. And I love, trust me, I love Vader, but for the fact that he was a 300-pound guy with work rate, he'd be pushed nowadays. Um, yeah. More than one. Because he was doing moonsaults before KO, before Keith Lee, oh, yeah. before everybody. He could do all the flips and kicks. He was good. And that's the thing, too, is that he had a great moonsault and a phenomenal powerbomb. Yep. Yeah. He was a powerhouse. He was. Scott Diamore, I hate to say, is worse than Tony Khan. Yeah. Just because he had no reason to be SJW super PG friendly, yet he wanted to fit in because he's with a trans woman. Like, I mean, look at the women's roster in TNA, with the exception of Dana Brooke. Take Dana Brooke out of the equation. Look at that roster. And look at Tony Khan's women's roster. Which one's more attractive? Uh, to, well, Tony Khan, he's actually starting to put some good-looking right, women guys, in there. You know, so I appreciate you. And he's actually working on that. 